to understand democracy, we often look at the classics and uh, going back to the ancient Athenian model of democracy. But if we want to be a little more critical, we find that even the Athenian model had certain flaws. Of course, uh, slaves, women, foreigners, the metics were excluded. So even the ideal model of, of the classical um, of Greek political thought has certain flaws. So we have to be critical of the origins of the way that democracy is understood in the West, but at the same time, how in the modern conception of democracy, the Republican tradition and also the liberal political theory tradition may have some flaws if we want to promote democracy in different parts of the world. And so when I have started doing, to do research in, in terms of how to develop democracy in Latin America or Africa, etc., cetera, um, I, I saw that some of these ideas cannot be exported quite easily. So we cannot really simply apply European ideas of democracy to Bolivia or Colombia or uh, um, in Africa, Asia. We have to adapt them to the local culture. So this is why I started to anal analyze the developments in, especially in Latin America and primarily in Bolivia in the last 15 years. Because I see that Bolivia has changed dramatically in the last 15 years. Bolivia was a dictatorship, a mili military uh, government for many, many years, and then a government that was quite uh, conservative and pro-market, but with a lot of poverty. Bolivia, around the year 2003, is when the transition occurred from a very neoliberal government to a much more radical and socialist uh, regime. But this process came about from mass mobilization. So eventually there was a, a democratic election in which Evo Morales was elected. And what's interesting to me is not so much the transition to a more radical government, but rather the effort to try to look for internal indigenous cultures within Bolivia. So the transition from a republican model of government in Bolivia towards a, what's called a plurinational state is what is interesting because there's an effort there to have an intercultural dialogue within the different cultures of Bolivia. The Aymara, the Quechua, Guarani, influencing the new constitution of 2009. So that, again, the, some of the ideas from, derived from Europe um, had to be adapted or changed to the local circumstances so that the indigenous cultures were incorporated and more active agents of development and political progress in Bolivia. So this is something that is in, important for not only domestically for, for Bolivia, but it's part of a larger project and program and ten, uh, tendency in Latin America to look for internal intercultural dialogues so that democracy is not only focused on, again, Western European roots. Now, this process, this development, is just one example of what's now being called comparative political theory. Political theory, as I said, is quite conservative, traditional. With comparative political theory, there's an effort to look at cross cultures to see whether democracy has roots outside of the West. So many people have done work on Asian political thought, African political thought, um, Chinese, Japanese, etc. And slowly, Latin America is also becoming incorporated into this nascent field of comparative political theory. And the effort here is to say, if ideas can be understood across cultures, we might be able to develop more permanent conceptions and constitutions that are democratic. If we are interested in, in philosophy or, or political philosophy, we should think that ideas can transfer across different cultures and do not necessarily have to be to, re, to remain in the, in the origin of, or the location where they develop. Because philosophy is about wisdom, it's about knowledge throughout the world. And again, while borders may exist for people and for goods, we should try to make an effort to eliminate or, or erase those borders for ideas, especially for political ideas. And I think that given the tendency towards globalization and a more cosmopolitan approach to politics, we should be poised right now to create more pro projects and programs in different parts of the world so that we can have dialogues um, from, from different cultures that are often neglected. So again, in Bolivia, the Aymara, the Quechua, who used to be quite marginal to Bolivia are now incorporated. We should find other examples throughout the world and to think about ways to develop a more transcultural conception of democracy.